What a stunning bike. I know nothing about this. So I think we should hand you over to its owner, Jake, who's going to tell you all about this absolutely custom built dirt jump bike. Over to you, Jake. <laughs> Hello and welcome, this is my bike check. I'm Jake Atkinson and we're just going to be going over this jump bike today. Starting with a frame, I'm running the NS Decade frame in the chocolate colour. I've got the RockShock Pike Ultimates on there, the specific dirt jump fork, 26 inch, 100 mil travel. For anyone interested, I'm riding one volume spacer and about 200 PSI. It just keeps the fork really rigid. For the cockpit, I've got the Unite Components Gold Stem. 35 mil reach i've got that paired with the renegade bars they are 35 mil and you get no flex for them i've cut them down to 740 wide which just i find it better having quite narrow bars for tricks like bar spins and stuff it just keeps the bars away from your knees yeah! coming down to the wheels i've got custom built wheels which i built here at matbeck cycle works i chose the Halo wide boy for the front, just not having that disc mount on there allows you to have wider spacing on your hub. It makes the wheel a little bit stronger. On the rear, I've got the Halo Super Drive. I'm running the Spank Spoon 32 rims. I've been running these wheels over a year now and they're still running perfectly straight. For the tires, I've got the Maxxis DTHs in 2.3 wide. They're the foldable tire just to keep weight down. For the tubes, I'm riding the Tubalitos, something daft like an eighth of the weight of a normal tube. I'm running the Shimano Saint Cranks at 165 mil long. I prefer having my feet closer together. It makes it easier when getting your feet back onto the bike. I've taken some of the pins out of the pedal because I like to move my feet around a lot. I've got a bit of tire wedged in between the bottom bracket and the sprocket. That's to create friction to stop my crank spinning when doing tricks. For my gear ratio, I'm riding a 32 on the front and a 13 on the back. For it's more of a skate park ratio. If I was to be riding bigger jumps, I'd be probably wanting to put a 32 on the front. Brake setup, I've got the Odyssey M2 lever up top with a dual cable running down to the tight gyro. If you're not familiar with what a gyro is, it just allows the bars to spin as many times as, as physically possible without the cables getting tangled or, or anything like that. Down to the Shimano caliper, just a basic caliper. It's so random. It was like 17 quid on wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. I've just been watching Jake film this and I'm absolutely blown away by the attention to detail that's gone into this type of bike. And I'm loving all the details and how he's really, really thought about the dedication to his sport to make sure he performs at the very highest level. Outstanding. Just what a great video to do. I hope you enjoyed it. Run really, really tight spokes for maximum stiffness. <laughs> <laughs>